Five versus five, the big show we've all been waiting for. But do you know what? Is it Frank Warren versus Eddie Hearn? Or is it the, the five fighters versus the five fighters? Because what I've seen <clears throat> all over social media and what's going on, it's just like, ah, oh, Frank Warren, Eddie Hearn, like, they're two promoters, guys. Just, just, oh yeah. It's about the boxers, man. It's about the fighters. Yeah, hopefully they're going to be earning a few quid on this big show in Saudi. But it's not about Eddie Hearn. It's not about Frank Warren. Yes, I'm glad they're working together because that's what they need. Because boxing, with all these YouTube misfits and stuff, with the way the world's changing, like boxing needs promoters to fight. Like, not each other, obviously, because it's not about them needs the boxers to fight the boxers because boxing, it, it's sliding a bit for me. But is, it, is this going to bring a bit of oomph back in the boxing world? Yes, I hope it does. You've got the big guys, haven't you? You've got Wilder versus Zhang. I've already done a video on these two. Go and watch them if you haven't seen it. But yeah, you've got the big guys. Am I excited about that fight? Not really, because they're both just on the slide, bump, meeting down at the bottom, <laughs> meeting down at the bottom of the slide, kicking each other's feet. But we're always excited about heavyweight fights, so just hopefully we're going to see a knockout, which I think we will. I think Wilder's finished. I don't think Wilder's got much left. I don't. Know, Zhang. I think if Zhang trains hard for it, like he did against the first, um, the first fight with the Juggernaut, um, I think. I think uh, he'll do. I think he'll be he'll be right up for this. But he just after three rounds, or Zhang just he does just slow down, doesn't he? And will Wilder Wilder just move and look for that big shot? It's still an intriguing fight. I'm not really that excited about it, but yeah, will Frank Warren or will Eddie Hearn win over the other on the big heavyweight fight? You've got the other two big guys, haven't you? You've got Daniel Dubois versus Philip Hogovic. Queensby versus Matchroom, again. Well, I think Daniel Dubois, I do think he's a bit of a bottle job. I think when things go tough, he just doesn't want to know. And I just don't think he's definitely not got the half for it. Has he got the power? Yeah, he's definitely got the power. I just don't think he's got the half for it. Ogovic, um, I think he beats Daniel Dubois. So I think, uh, I think Matchroom will get one up on that fight. What do you guys think about that one? You've got Raymond Ford against Nick Ball. I'll tell you what, this could be a this could be a barnstorm of this fight, because that Nick Ball, he knows how to he knows how to stay busy, doesn't he? He knows how to keep the pressure on. If those are punches in bunches, my type of fighter. I think that could steal the show that fight, to be honest with you. I think that's gonna be a great fight. Let me know what you guys think about this one. But I'm 50-50 on that one. I'm, I'm not too sure who's gonna win it. And we've got Craig Richards versus Willie Hutchinson. Are Willie, are Willie from Scotland. I know my Scottish accent isn't that good, but yeah. Good fight. Good, good fight. Craig Richards, Richardson, aka the Spider. I watched his last fight. He's a great, great boxer. Tidy boxer. But I'm on 50-50 again with that one. Cause, like, I haven't really seen that much of them both. But I tell you what, they're both going to be getting paid. Well, that's the main thing. That's the main thing about this show. The boxers, they're over there. They're going to get paid well because that's all I really care about, the boxers. Never mind the promoters. The promoters, yeah, fair dudes. They're getting them, they're getting them the chance and all that. But it's not about them too. It's about the boxers. I'm looking forward to this one though. And it's, it's exactly what boxing needs. It needs promoters to start coming together and getting all the fighters to fight. Let me know your thoughts about the show, guys. Let me know what you think is going to steal the show out of the five versus five. Do you know what, though? It's a massive platform. It's a massive platform for these guys. You know what I mean? They've got, they're over there now. They've got a show. They've got to go out, do what they've got, just do what they've got to do because it's a massive platform and a massive opportunity for them. Put on a big show over there. They're going to go on to bigger things and bigger. And the Saudis, they'll have them back, won't they? They'll have them back there and they'll keep getting paid. Keep getting paid, baby, that's what they need. They need them big paydays. Who do I think is going to come out on top? The big question. Is it going to be Matchroom 
Or is it going to be Queensbury? Well, I'm going with all fours, Matchroom. I'm going to say Matchroom come out on top. Big up Eddie Earn and big up Matchroom and big up the fighters.